Greetings and salutations, audience. It's Mixed Game Mike here for another episode of Ace in the Window. Today we're at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino, home of the 50th anniversary World Series of Poker. Uh, so, two other tweets caught my attention that were really cool, and that was this tweet from Jean Gluck from the Bicycle Casino. Mm -hmm. She's announcing uh, new $10 chips at the bike, right? Uh, you know, I mean, you know those are going to be used for their uh, 4080 mm -hmm. hold'em game, uh, for sure, you know, and I think they have a... Uh, well, I'm sure the 2040 mix game probably still uses the yellow uh, five dollar chips, but yeah, they're they're 4080. So yeah, is is that it? The one in the picture right there? Yeah, that's their staple uh, chip, or that's their staple game. I mean, so that's a nice new addition. And I believe that she there was another picture she may have shown that I think they were more like. I don't know if they were Paulsons, but I think they're not. You know, the standard bicycle chip. Yeah, show them, show them your uh, chip collection. Oh, yeah, I've got, I've got a bunch of chips we're going to talk about here. But um, the standard bicycle chip is like this. This is the $3 version, right? Okay. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of got this plastic feel to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's lighter weight. It's I think it's 9.5 grams. There you go. So, see that. It's a pretty cool chip. Um, it's very functional. <clears throat> Those are actually a lot like the Rounders Card Club uh, tournament chips are oh, a really lot like that. Not exactly, because these have a little bit of an inlay, and you yeah. can feel a texture difference, whereas the Rounders ones, I don't have them with me, of course, but um, they are more like, let's see if I have one, the Gardens. No, the Gardens has a texture on it, too. Mm, which one was I thinking about? Oh, the Link. Yeah, this is a good example. The flat ceramic. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Where there's no indentation of any yeah. kind. That's yeah. just flat. Um, although they're more plastic, like too. Yeah. So, yeah. but it's high durability, high use. I mean, those tournament chips. You know, they're not like the cash chips. Yeah. I mean, they're getting they're getting a high volume of use. I like I like the day, fact so. that the the size is you know it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, those oddly enough, I've got a chip collection holder. The link one doesn't fit in it because it's oh. just a little too big. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little too big. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, just like by millimeter, slightly, yeah, but it yeah, just slightly. doesn't fit. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of odd. So, um, some other chips that are like that, I found Ocean's Eleven has the top hat and cane, you know, Paulson. Oh, there we go. Those are good. Uh, look at that, guys. Let's see. Oh, here's a good example. The MGM. This is MGM National Harbor. That's another top hat and cane. That's a very classic. Now, this is this is an old throwback here. This is a real, I mean, these were like so old, but the Bills. Bills Gambling Hall and Saloon. Right, you guys remember that, I'm sure, if you're in Vegas. That is now uh, been redone, remodeled, um, and is... Uh, What's that thing called now? The um, it's uh, <sighs> oh shoot, it's so bad. <laughs> and it's got Rachel Ray's restaurant in it. Um, Cromwell. There you go, Cromwell. <laughs> yeah, I'm such a bad Vegas yeah. native. And sadly, one of the reasons that I'm probably not going to go there um, is because they don't have a poker room anymore. They got rid of it, so you know I walk by it, but I don't go in. Yeah, I'm a poker guy, so that's that's yeah. just how that goes. Let's see, who else has one like that? Oh, Aria doesn't have the branded Top Hat and Cane, but they've got some of the best uh, chips available on the strip. And they are a great chip. Um, they're definitely that nice, clay, hearty chip. Oh, yeah. So. It does. Very nice. Some people try to do it, and then they don't quite get it. Like, we have a Hooters and a Hooters. <laughs> One Hooters is like Hooters. a lightweight chip, and the other is like that ceramic, and you can just tell the difference. They did screen printing on the ceramic, and it yeah, just doesn't look very good. But, you know, look for ways to save money, right? Yeah. Um, durable, though. SA Card House. This is um, in San Antonio, and it's got that screen print. You know, it's, it's a durable ceramic chip with um, screen printing on it. It feels... Gardens, Gardens in Los Angeles also has that kind of same plastic kind of feel that the the bike has. 
Now this one's interesting. Cowboys, Cowboys Card Club, which has since closed in Austin, um, they had a. You can just feel it. It's it's uh, injection molded plastic, but they made it look like you know one of the top hat and cane type of designs. I mean, they put designs around here. They did the stripes. I mean, there's a whole thing that they did a pretty good job of making it look like, but you can still feel the difference. Yeah, it does. Um, Post Oak Poker Club in Houston, um, you know, you heard of them in the news recently, yeah. uh, on the bad side of the news. Mm -hmm. um, they uh, they have the composite ceramic, and they it's a pretty good design. Pretty good weight to it, so. Oh, Harris. Harris also pretty good. They're pretty solid. So, I like those kind of chips. That are like the Aria, and yeah. my impression was, based on her post, it looks like they've gone with something like that for their ten dollars chips. Hopefully, I'm going to be visiting there maybe next week. Oh, and really? um, okay. see how those yeah. chips hold up. We'll see, right? In a similar note, the Hammer also oh, posted that. that the Commerce got twenty five dollar chip. chips. So I've got actually a $25 chip from the Commerce in my collection at home just because um, they decided to use purple, and purple's my favorite color, and, you know, hey. Uh, when I played at Commerce, I played the 5-1500 PLO with a rock game. So, the, you know, the $25 chip was the dollar chip for that game. So, um, yeah, I just I took one home as a souvenir. Um, so... That's pretty cool. I don't have it with me today because it's up. Yeah, I've, it's in a case kind of thing. So these are the loose ones that are extras, which is why I have them out. Um, but yeah, that's another really nice looking chip. It looks like it's a good quality one of these type of clay composite chips with an inlay, um, and it definitely the marking yeah, on it. It's is, very is clear. It's bigger, like, clearer than it used to be. Yeah, you yeah. know, you could tell. Okay, this is a twenty-five dollar yeah. chip because like some of the other chips, like you know. Like, uh, it's more obscure. Yeah, it's yeah. a little bit more obscure. You can't really You tell. really just know by the color. Yeah. Like that Ocean's Eleven one. Pull that one back out. Uh, it was like the second the one. Terminal. There you go. Like, green. you know, you look at this. Uh, I mean, it's... I'm looking in the middle, yeah, right, like for like what table. what this thing could be, yeah. right? Yeah. And, um, yeah. of course, yeah. it's on the edges, uh, you know? So it's on these outside edges, sure. like, oh, okay. You mostly know it by the color, though. Uh, main, uh, the MGM is a little obscure. Yeah, like, it's obscure because it's it, they it's put it over black, a picture, right? So right? they put black over a picture that's got a lot of black in it. Yeah. yeah. So, but you know, yeah. it's a red chip, so you know it's a five. Okay. But, exactly. You know, Australia. Well, yeah, everywhere but California. <laughs> California always got to be different. Yeah. They're five dollars right, for else. yellow. <laughs> yeah. Um, whatever. You know. Hey. <laughs> uh, 10% up to $5. Yeah. Most pods being over $50. Um, so they were being charged $12 per person per half hour. Mm -hmm. Time rate. Yeah. Because it's the King's Room. Um, that's just what they charged there. They also had a buffet available for the players yeah, of if, the King's Room. If you're playing... Mm -hmm. Small ball poker and still getting to take advantage of all the King's Room stuff. Yes. Again, for the for those kind so of watching, it kind familiar. of surprised a few players. But you know, at the same time, they yeah. adjust to it. And they go, well, that's just the price for playing cash today during the big fifty when all the yeah. space is taken up. You know, that's yeah. just what you have to do. So, but that is um, cool for anybody that's not familiar. You know, having the buffet. Yeah. Um, my general understanding from the players last night is that all the food in there is top notch. Uh. So it's not like you're just getting some regular cheap buffet. It's all really good stuff. So, but that yep, that's what I've been hearing too. So that's my only experience there. I haven't done the you know, regular games because even though they had the, some of the normal high limit games, the um, seventy five one fifty stud and seventy five one fifty Omaha eight or better were going that day. Mm -hmm. I just didn't cycle through those tables. Yeah. So yeah. So the. <clears throat> So I got to deal the dealer's choice in there last night. Cool. Um, and th I find those players generally are the nicest players. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're and you're going through the boards, and there's all these games. Uh, 
Like what you, was you a strange, interesting game. That I, I didn't ran into. necessarily deal any of them, but I'm looking at the, the placards oh, okay. and we're going through them. And like you're talking about like Raz Ducey and sure, yeah, all this stuff. Like I, I think I'm pretty familiar with poker and know most of the names. Um, you know, your Archies, your Ducey, mm-hmm. whatever. But then you start getting into these super games, whatever you want to call them, with the Raz Ducey and right, I was right. like, what? Yeah, <laughs> holy crap. Yeah, no, we get some deep water here. The the, the names can be kind of confusing, but you know. What you have to consider when you're looking at that is, is that they've taken a game like Medesi or Medusi and they've said, hey, let's make that a stud game. Mm-hmm. And there you go, Raz Ducey, Raz Daisy. Yeah. You know, so. And it can be kind of intimidating, but most of those players, are, like I said, are super nice. And for the most part, you're still doing the same thing. You're just like, all right, so am I still dealing, you know, five cards or just how, am I, how am I dealing it? And that's right. kind of the biggest component is, yeah. all right, Still doing five cards and yep. and drawing. But it's just hey, you know, I was at one of the mixed games and uh, a cash game, and it was time for super stud, and I saw a stud. Yeah. I didn't see the super, and I dealt two cards and flipped one over, and they said, "Oh, you're supposed to do four down." I didn't and then one up. I was like, "But that's okay. You can just deal the next two down." I'm like, "Well, yeah, that's yeah, that'll work." <laughs> you know, that's, that's the same thing that's, that happened to me last night. That, that's fine. That'll work. Didn't notice the super part. My bad. The, ne- oh, the next hands after that, we got four cards down and then one up. Fine. Yeah, <laughs> so. I did the same thing last night, and that was just. I tried to clarify first because I didn't know. Yeah. I was like, all right, so we got. You know, someone pulled the super stud placard. I'm like, all right, does this deal the same as stud? Yeah, yeah. No one, yeah. no one fixed me. Right, right. So I'm two down, one up. Right. And then, oh no, 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 it's supposed to be four down, one up. But okay, just deal the next two down. Deal the next like, two down. Oh well, that's that's why I asked. But yeah, that, it's, I mean, it's all good. If you if you dig There's through a lot the going rules, on. the the correction for accidentally flipping up is just to. Give the rest down. It's yeah, not really a big deal. Yeah, it's it's a it's that's a, my general understanding. It's a minor flag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same thing like yeah. uh, you know, end of the night last night. My last table was a stud game, and you know you're getting a little fatigued. You've been I've been there since technically four thirty, and now it's two thirty in the morning, something like right. that. So I accidentally flipped the last card up. Oh so yeah. My my understanding of that procedure oh, is this the same thing. You put all of them up. One goes up, they all have to go up. Because uh, I made that mistake in my audition yeah. as well. And when I made the the floor call in the audition, that's just like all right. Now they got to go all up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was um, my biggest faux pas when I was dealing the fifteen hundred stud game. Was and this was after dealing several hands. I had gotten that good for several hands and then I don't know for some reason two guys were heads up and I dealt 7th street straight up on the board and yeah. there's that fifth card up going and and the players are like I think that was supposed to be down yeah. I'm like oh no yeah <laughs> I mean I was I was just I was absolutely embarrassed I just I felt absolutely terrible that I had done something like that anyway yeah. we called the floor we said that's fine play just continues um, the players said it didn't really matter because uh, you know the, the last card didn't happen to change anything in that case. Obviously, it's a mistake that should happen, but you know in this yeah. case it was a low impact mistake. So, I mean that's that's the biggest thing that I don't know if players fully understand is that when you you get used to dealing any any one game, you know whether it's PLO or you know a flop game, then you go to a stud game, you're just you're you're so conditioned to do the same thing over and over again, right? And then all of a sudden you go to a stud and you got to do something different, and your muscle memory wants to do one thing, yes. And you just have to kind of fight and override it. And oh man! Uh, so so this was interesting. Last night <clears throat> it was part of the eight game mix, and it was deuce to seven triple draw, right? Mm. So you know you draw cards, and and if you're not sure uh, uh, the process, the the official procedure at the World Series of Poker. When you draw cards, after players declare, right, is you deal off the, you burn, and you deal off the deck, mm-hmm. just like you're putting out a flop, <laughs> yeah. one card, you know, and then push it to them and pull yep. back theirs, right? So someone drew three, so I went whack, 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 and it sounded like I was going to put out a flop, obviously, because that's a normal kind of thing you do when you're about mm-hmm. to flip a flop over. And they're like, whoa, don't do it. And I was like, well, he drew three, so, yeah. you know, but I've had that happen before. 
uh, it, myself in a draw game where a dealer just puts out a flop. Mm-hmm. And you're like, it's a draw game, so <laughs> let's call the floor and see what to do with those cards because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so I totally understood the player's concern. I was like, don't worry, sir. He drew three. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's fine. Everything's good. So, but I, ter- I certainly understand their concern because I've had it happen plenty of times. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Technically, they want us to do the, the you know, put the push pull. Yeah. But I've generally found that the, the players prefer the. A lot the, of the players the have requested it. Yeah, that's true. So, I kind of go by you know, and that's what the floors have kind of conferred mm-hmm. to me as well. Is just like if you're, you know, just make the players happy. Yeah. If, the, if the players want want to be pitched, pitch it to them. Pitch. Just. <laughs> yeah, Don't fuck it up. Right? Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, so I mean obviously if the players ask for it, um yeah. that's fine. We'll just we'll just pitch it to you, it's no problem at all. Uh but every time you push it on a table, that's the back to the default of push pull. And then if they ask, okay, no problem. Gotcha. I just we'll just switch. I've kinda of gone just to pitching unless someone says something to me otherwise. Um so again to me that seems to be like the default method that makes them happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've cool. seen every every table seems to have preferences as far as that goes. It, it's it's interesting, kind of the culture that you get when you change tables. Like mm-hmm. one table super nice, super helpful. Next table just you know everyone will be grumpy or whatever. Interesting, cool to me at least. Well, that's it for this show, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and tell us what you thought down below in the comments. Bye now.